Hey, we're going to send it over to Ryan to keep a track of our forecast this Friday and into the weekend. And and I see yeah, you what see you're it. doing here 2020. You're going to have to have 2020 vision for the new year and the forecast. It's looking good as we transition into the new year. Temperatures will be cool. We have a cold front this weekend, which will set up a nice week up ahead. Overnight lows will be in the 40s, afternoons in the, six, in the 50s and 60s, and also with nice breaks in sun with more clouds building in by New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Now, meantime, we have a good amount of moisture surging in from the southwest and also from the southeast as well, which is leading to dense fog advisories, mainly out to our northeast, closer to Houston, San Antonio, Austin. So if you're traveling up there this morning, that's where a lot of the fog will be. In addition, out near Kingsville in our inland counties, Jim Wells and Claiborne County as well. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. First tower cam 62. Dew points at 61, so the, those two temperatures are matching, and when they match, we get almost 100% relative humidity off an east to southeast wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour. So notice, look at this fog out across the area. In the city, it's good to go. 10 mile visibility. Robstown, not bad either, but when you head off west from Robstown to Alice or Orange Grove to Alice, you run into a wall of fog where it's indicating by red it's down to less than a quarter mile. So this is dangerous fog, mainly on the 281 corridor near Kingsville and Western uh, Claiborne County and also in Falfurious in addition to Hebronville as well. So be careful driving out this morning. Uh, keep the low beams on and allow some extra time getting out the door. Temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s. 158 on the map. That's Kingsville. 60 in Alice. One better in Mathis and 62 here in the city. Our right, so satellite and radar. Not a lot of rain. I mean, the state of Texas is looking pretty clear with the exception of a few uh, passing isolated showers over, uh, let's say, the Texas Panhandle, also in Oklahoma, off this area of high pressure. And on the western side of that is an area of low pressure. And this is where we turn our attention towards closer to Arizona, southern Cali, and also into New Mexico. You can actually see it spinning counterclockwise right here, uh, initiating some snow and also some good heavy rain for southern Arizona at this hour. Now, why do I mention this? Because this is going to be a big storm system for any travel plans up to the north and northeast. Look at this. A pretty dynamic system takes shape and look at the stretch of this thing. I mean, rain, isolated showers for us at late Saturday and early Sunday. But as you go off northbound, look at this. Just heavy rain closer to Nebraska, Kansas. Some good snow out across the Colorado Rockies, uh, stretching up into the Dakotas. So, I mean, this is going to affect a lot of travel plans. Be very careful and keep that in mind. For us, early Sunday morning is looking like our best chance at rain. A few passing isolated showers and behind the front cooler temperatures and clearing skies. So it looks like Saturday it'll be a, kind of a cloudy day. Some showers around, not a whole lot going on, but early Sunday looks to be our best uh, window in terms of rain chances and that tapers off by Monday and Tuesday and temperatures behind the front are going to be much cooler. I mean, we're talking 60s and 70s and overnights in the 40s and 50s. So much cooler weather is on the way, but today very warm and muggy temperatures in the low to mid 70s. A couple breaks of sun here and there, but again, clouds will dominate our skies for our Friday afternoon. Our seven day forecast shows our best window of rain. Again, it'll be as we work into the overnight hours into early Sunday. But with that, cooler weather is on tap. 65 our high temperature. Same thing for Monday morning lows much cooler with clearing skies. And New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, some rain chances are expected, but we'll fine tune the forecast as we get closer and closer to the new year. John Thomas. Ryan, thank you.